Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, how you doing? Well, I'm finally updating my string trimmer. And maybe one day I'll get an edger, but I'll be honest, I've been using my string trimmer for everything. Now this here, to my knowledge, is the top of the line. They don't make anything better. This is the ST1521S. All right, there you go. Now this guy here actually has the power load technology and it is also the carbon fire sh uh, fiber shaft with a lifetime warranty, okay? This one comes with a 2.5 amp hour battery uh, and a charger, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, so. Let me mount my camera. I'm going to crack this open and then I plan on later comparing this to my current model. Okay, so let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we got. All right. Oh. Okay, so you get some cord. All right, you get some good cord. You get a booklet, an Allen key, and a screw. All right. Yes, you do get a charger. All right, this is the standard charger that you do get in the box. All right, it's got a little fan. Um, this is not a fast charger. So if you have a fast charger, you can use your fast charger. Here is the battery. All right, brand new, 2.5 um, amp hour, but this is not the one with the fuel gauge. This is the one without the fuel gauge. It has to have a T at the end. Okay, so brand new in the box. And man, look at that carbon, huh? Is that beautiful or what? Man, look at the carbon. Oh. So this definitely should be lighter. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. Again, let me zoom out. Pull this guy out. Okay, you get your handle. So you'll put your handle on. Very comfortable handle, by the way. You get your guard, okay, that you'll put on. I don't use the guard, honestly. I just use glasses, and I hope my rocks in my rock garden don't kick up. <laughs> you know, I hope and pray. And um, so this is the guy here. So you can... Um, okay, yeah, the screw that they give you actually will pretty much go here. So it's a folding model. Um, they, they, they make some, a lot of their products either come folding or they don't include this. The, the carbon, I'm not sure if they make a carbon model. All right, lifetime warranty. Here's the uh, trigger. I had to put that screw in. All right, but here is, uh, huh. Uh, different. Oh, okay. So you just hold these two together. So that's kind of new. All right. Of course, this model has a brushless motor. Brooklyn, come. Got to get her over here. She's been having some issues lately with uh, licking her paws. Brooklyn, come. All right. Anyway, uh, yeah. So brushless, as you can see here. All right. Your battery goes on here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited, guys. I am excited to get this to get this going. Now here's the uh, the power load. Brooklyn, up. Here's the power load. Okay. I mean, you just hit this button when the battery's in, and it will take and suck in the wire. Okay. And here's your newer head with uh, your bump. You know, obviously your bump basically gives you more wire. All right. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. All right, guys. Well, this is Tech Made Easy. And as you saw in my previous video, I upgraded my trimmer. All right, the one on the bottom is the ST1500S. The one on the top is the ST1520S. Big, big differences. Let's start at the top, take a peek. All right, so. Oh, a little design change. Uh, one is brushless, by the way. Okay, the other one is not. As you can see from the controls, uh, you have two of these to push in. 
I got to tell you though, I like the new controls on the 1520 because they just make more sense for me, you know. So you do have to push both of these in and uh, so that makes a difference. But hey, the biggest difference here is there should be a weight difference, which I'm going to find out and I will post it in the video. But the carbon fiber shaft on this thing, okay, is one of the biggest differences. All right, you got carbon. All right, so that's going to make it lighter. They both fold in half, which I don't really, you know, care for. I didn't put my handle on, but I'm not worried. And then the other big difference is um, this guy here has a push. Uh, to, to load so when you when, when you load the string in on one side this thing will suck the string in <laughs> so it's it's the first powered one out as you can see from my last video so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start some edging I'm just gonna do a little bit of edging so I can kind of see the weight of both of these I'm gonna be putting a 2.5 amp third gen battery in with the fuel gauge okay so let me put the old guy on the side for a second okay i've been using this for a while and honestly i actually use a strap and i'm coming out with the video about straps and how they help your back but i can actually put some shortcuts um i can actually put some links in the description if you're looking to pick up some straps um, they really help your back so i'm going to try to position this as best i can all right as far as edging is concerned I'm going to throw the battery in. Oh, all right. Let's put our battery in. All right. Push it in, lock it in. Um, I do have... i got to get my protective glasses, so give me one second. All right. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Got my protective glasses. Definitely wear these when you use a trimmer and a lot of other tools. But let's go ahead and start playing with this puppy and you can hear the, um, you know, and, and by the way, I'm gonna edge, just so you'll know. So you're gonna see me edging this part here, okay? So I will try to give you the best view I could possibly give you, um, you know, so you can see what's going on and what I'm doing. I'm zoomed out all the way. I think that's pretty good. And so I tilt this to the side um, and actually get in here. Look at that already. I mean, that's is that pretty. It's so nice, you know. Makes it just like waxing your car. Okay, I'm going to stop here because I don't want to make this the longest video in the world. I'm going to go ahead and grab the other guy now, okay? But uh, take a look at that there, huh? Okay, now I'm going to look at weight for the most part, right? I mean, they're both string trimmers. But let me look at weight. Take the battery out. All you do is uh, just... Uh, Pop it out. All right. Got a nice fully charged battery. I gotta say though, you know what I'm gonna do too? Real quick guys, is now that they both have the batteries out, I just wanna kinda see if I put them in my hands. I don't know, it's, it is very similar. You know, I don't know why. I mean, this actually has the handle on it too. But um, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I'm not gonna kid you, I'll always be honest. So let me put the new guy here and put the battery in the same way. Okay, the handle's cool and you do get the handle with the other model. So let's continue. All right.
you know, not perfect, but I got to tell you, I take pride and I do enjoy doing it. So, guys, I have to tell you, they both feel very similar. You know, they're both string trimmers. They both had a 2.5 amp battery on them. And, uh, I don't know. You know, I got a good deal on that. I'm not going to kid you. You know, I actually bartered with someone to get the newer model. So, <laughs> but, um... Yeah, if I can't sell this for a couple of bucks, I probably will end up keeping it because I hate giving things away. But, uh, yeah. All right. Be right back. Hey, guys. Tech Made Easy here. And I am going to show you a video on how to load and unload the power load system on the new Ego string trimmer. Now, this one has carbon fiber, and I think it only comes in carbon fiber. Isn't that sweet? My God. By the way, that's my girl, Brooklyn. She's in most of my videos. She's my yellow lab. She's a sweet girl. She likes to hang out. So guys, let me go ahead and just show you how to open this up, okay? We're gonna zoom out a little bit more. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and show you how to just open this up and then I'm gonna take out all this string and basically show you how to load it. So one side at a time, you wanna push the green in, all right? On this side and on this side. Once you do that, your string is gonna go, come out like spaghetti. All right, so I'm gonna take the string out of each of the sides here. I'm gonna put this aside, and now I'm gonna take the string out of the cartridge. All right, so be patient with me on that one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take it out. All right. Oh yeah, it's always fun. I've done this a couple of times. It's always messy when you take it out, guys, but it's okay. It's more about how do you get it in, right? All right. So now what I want to do is this is the cartridge, okay? Now do not take this out. It is not made to come out. This is connected directly to the power load motor. Do not mess with it, all right? So all you do now is you're going to put this back on, all right? So... I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Pretty easy, all right? So what you wanna do is you wanna take the black plate and put it over the green plate, all right? And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to put this evenly, and very, it's, it's pretty easy, evenly on both sides. So as you can see on this side, it's on. I'm gonna turn this, and on this side, it's on. And now all you wanna do is push one of the sides in and then go back to the other side, push this side in, and lock one of the sides. One of the sides locks, turn around, lock the other side. Guys, you are good to go now in loading. So let me show you something, and, and I hope this doesn't take long because sometimes it's a little tricky. This little hole here, you see this hole is where you gotta get your string. It's actually not that little, it's a pretty good size. Let me also tell you that if you're using an old string and you're gonna, re, you're gonna put it back in, do not put a string in like this, okay? You're gonna to wanna to cut your string, all right? And when you cut your string, you wanna have a nice straight edge, as straight as it's gonna be, because let me tell you, this can be tricky, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it through, and I either get it in on the first or the second time, all right? And it looks like it's not the first, so I'm gonna do it one more time, and again, you just wanna be as straight as possible. So let's try that straight and I got it second time okay so there it goes the next thing you want to do is you really want to just pull this out and you want to make it so that it's even on both sides okay even length both sides so let me do that for a second guys once I do that this video is pretty much over because ego makes it super easy to reload your string trimmer and not have to worry about stringing things along yourself. All right, so give me a second. I like to make sure mine's as even as possible. All right, I am doing it in my kitchen because it's been raining outside. It is what it is, huh? At the end of the day. All right, so mine is even now. Let's go to the next step, which is the best step. It's the most fun step. Who would have thought a string trimmer could be fun? All right, so I am gonna hold these Okay, and let me zoom out. So I'm gonna hold these, I'm not gonna pull them, I'm just gonna hold them, kind of guiding them. And when I go to press this button here, and, and you're gonna let go at a certain point, 
but let me just show you how it loads without getting tangled. Okay, and uh, guys, it's loaded, as you can see. Um, I probably want to drop more in, okay? And uh, I don't use the guard. You guys should use the guard. You should always use safety glasses when you use a string trimmer. But as you can see, in this video, we went over how to open this plate, remove your string, put your plate back on correctly, and restring your trimmer with the new power load technology. Pretty cool guys, huh? Well, give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. All right, thank you. All right guys, well, hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll tell you, you know, I love new technology. It's amazing what these battery operated products can do. Anyway, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it, it really helps the channel. Share our video, okay? And if you're new to the channel, click on the Tech Made Easy logo in the upper right-hand corner. You'll get notified of new videos, and uh, you'll also join the family. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.